What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Fimes of Nose, baby. Hashtag Fimes of Nose, baby. Today, we've got eight PC mods of testing. We only got one console mod of testing. That's okay, because 28 mods released today. It's Fact Sheet Friday. The Farming Simulator 22 equipment list has been updated. Giant Software released a new podcast today with Nutrato talking about dedicated servers for Farm Sim 22. 82 Studio shows off the front of the TLX 3500. JHHG modding is also getting in on the Fact Sheet Friday. Custom modding show off what they've done and what they're gonna be doing. Data modding has some more attachments for the Excavator Lieber Pack. Solutions Modding's new liquid trailer with the thing on top, switch giants for testing. Edo Mod is making Mappa Italia way more realistic than it already is. How? Plus, DJ Modding's got some new screenshots from his next map. Just check it out. In Test D4 PC, we have the AgriLift BT BTH Pack, Agronopolis, Lawfolds Aberdeenshire Multifruit, New Bartle Shogun 4 Size, Productions Info HUD, Vegetables Greenhouse Pack, Versatile 4 Wheel Drive Tractors, and the Weinhof VTW 2200. And your only mod in Test D today for consoles is the TARDIS from Alien Gym. With all that being said, we still have nine Mod City waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is one workday. In addition to the mods in testing, 28 new and updated mods were released today on the Indie Game Mod Hub, including the classic Far Baby Baylor and tons of tractor updates. I've already made a video showing all that off. You can find that video linked in the first pinned comment and description below. Giant Software have released the fourth set of fact sheets for Farming Simulator 22, the Doids Far Top Liner 4090 HTS and the Top Liner 4090 Header, the Zader Proxima HS and the Chrome Squadro TS970, the Zader Major CL and the Massey Ferguson MF1840, and the Zader Forterra HSX and the Rudolph TDK 301 RA trailer. If you are unfamiliar with what fact sheets are, they are a collection of data on a specific piece of equipment or machine which give you an idea of what to expect once the game is out. I've already made a video showing all of these fact sheets off today. You can find that video linked in the description and first comment as well. Giant Software have also released some new vehicles, equipment, and some other goodies on the Farming Simulator 22 website today, with the addition of new ideal combine harvesters that we didn't know about, the trailers, and more. Check out the link below beside Farming Simulator 22 website and check out what you are most excited about. But if you don't want to just look at it, whatever reason, I'm going to be making a video this weekend showing off what we've got so far so that you don't have to worry about it. So stay tuned for that. Giant Software also released a new podcast today talking with the Trotto about servers and how crossplay is going to work with Farming Simulator 22. Not much has really changed from what we talked about in yesterday's video. They basically just elaborated on how servers work and things like that. I'm going to be dropping a video soon, probably in the next week or two, about how to rent servers on G Portal, who I personally partner with. So that brings you guys some extra deals on servers. Use code DJ Goham. Get your own server for FarmSim19 today for PCs. And when Farming Simulator 22 is released, you can get your own for all platforms. And I have confirmed with G Portal that that will be a confirmation. G Portal servers work for all platforms. Speaking of Farming Simulator 22 crossplay, the mods in FarmSim 22 are going to tell you if a mod is crossplay compatible or not. That's going to be in the mod hub. And if you don't have all the required mods to download a particular play on a server, there's going to be an option to automatically download all required mods, of course, as long as they are on the mod hub. For crazy modded stuff or third party PC mods, this will not be a thing. But this feature already exists on PC. It's great to see it coming to consoles. And really, with this, nothing has changed from what we already have. Also, keep in mind that servers are not a way to cheat in a PC only mod on consoles. It's not going to work like that. I had tons of questions about this yesterday. And it works exactly the way it works in Farming Simulator 19 now, but you're just able to play with other platforms. The way mods work will not be changing. Jumping into today's modern news, and we're going to start with none other than 82 Studio and his TLX 3500. As you know, he's been working on this mod in the background for quite a while now, and it's getting closer to being ready. Here you can see the 3500 will also be getting LED running lights, similar to what you see on modern trucks these days. I think it might. My truck even has these. Uh, this is just one of the new and extra features features that's going to be available with the TLX 3500 for all platforms, by the way. Very excited about that. To catch the latest news and information on this track, check out A2 Studio on Facebook and on YouTube. Link below. Since today is Fact Sheet Friday, JHHG Modding figured he would get in on the action himself as well, showing off the two new pieces of equipment coming with their collaboration with Sid Modding and Tchaikovsky. Starting with the STK 300 Plus. This is going to be a strip till machine. It's going to cost you 73,580 buckaroos. You've got a power requirement of 180 horsepower. 
has a 2,400 liter combined capacity for seed and fertilizer, solid fertilizer by the way. This can be configured to have it working with between 3 and 4.5 meters with a max working speed of 9 miles per hour and it will plant wheat, barley, oats, canola, sorghum, and farm some 22 stuff right there, soybeans, corn, sunflower, sugar beets, and cotton, and will have a total weight of 4.9 tons. Secondly, we have the PS300S sewing attachment. This is going to cost you 13155 bucks. has a horsepower requirement of 60 horsepower, so very low there. can be used with the STK300 or the 300 Plus. It's working with the 3 meters only, do you keep that in mind, with a max working speed of 9 miles per hour. And this will aid in the planting of wheat, barley, oats, canola, sorghum, and soybeans. Obviously, sorghum is not a farming simulator 19 crop, but these figures are based off of the FarmSim 22 crop list. And this machine will also be in Farm Sim 22, by the way. To see it in Farming Simulator 19, stay tuned to the channel, because I'm going to have a special video releasing this weekend showing it off. And I want to say a big thank you to JHHG Modding and Sid Modding for allowing me to send show this to you guys. You guys rock. Custom Modding may have released 15 mods on the Mod Hub, but they still have lots more to do, especially in Farming Simulator 22. They've listed out all the remaining projects that they have finished up, and they may be coming to Farm Sim 22 as well, including their Landau 845 AG haul all series i know you guys are super excited about that we've also got the case h 2150 early riser planter 24 row version case h 250 axle flow combine which i do not see us getting in farm sim 19 but we will see i know there's already another one also the honeybee airflex series 60 foot and custom modding flex draper you've also got the case h 3162 teraflex draper 45 foot also custom modding flex draper you got the John Deere Skiles Pit Stop Trailer, the John Deere C850 Air Cart Update for the Next Gen Mod, the 1870 Aero Drill for the update for the Next Gen Mod, and their Dyersville Map. They also say that they're working on their first Farming Simulator 22 mod right now, which is going to be the quote-unquote sixth piece in the puzzle, whatever that means, and they already have three other mods not mentioned on this list. Looking like custom modding are up to something big for not only the remainder of Farm Sim 19, but also Farming Simulator 22 as well. I can't wait to see what they do. Ada Modding shows off another set of equipment to pair with the Black Sheep Modding Excavator Lieber 902 back. They've got a log grapple, a tree harvester, and a pallet fork. These are all being modeled and worked on right now. Made up modding the ABP team, so look forward to some updates on these soon. Lucia's modding say that their new tanker trailer is ready and is with Giants for testing. As of this morning, they have named it the K-Base Water Trailer with transport options for water, fertilizer, herbicide, diesel, and milk. All those are liquid, by the way, so liquid fertilizer. It does have a base on the top where you can strap down pallets of whatever you need to. doesn't really matter. You can also put bells up there if you want to. Uh, that way, you only have to make one trip into the field instead of two or three. Liquid fertilizer in the tank, solid fertilizer and seeds on the top. I think it's a really cool idea, and it's definitely going to help players out in the long run, especially on consoles. Edo Mod says that they've been making some steady progress towards realism on their map Italia, improving the dirt textures and the metal part textures as well. All around their map here, you can see some before and after pictures. Edo Mod already has made Map Italia one of the most realistic and lifelike mods on Mod Hub today. So it's almost going to be scary to see how good and how realistic this can look. It's almost October, so that's perfect timing. And lastly today, DJ Modding, not me, has <laughs> some new screenshots of his next map, Red River Valley. This is just a normal size map, no crazy 4X stuff here. It will only be available on PCs because all DJ Modding's maps are available for PC only. So do keep that in mind. He always does a great job. And I'm looking forward to seeing what he's got for his next map. And I was looking forward to sharing this self segue to the outro with you guys. Hope you like it. Just like every episode of Farm Some News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, it just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording this video. Please stay tuned for further episodes, and I forgot to read. Please refer to previous episodes, most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new, and hear me mess up going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Let's go. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. Speaking of, my plans have changed just a little bit for this weekend. I'm actually not going to be leaving till tomorrow. I'm just going to do a day trip. So things will be a little bit easier this weekend. We're going to do the Farm Sim show today. I've got some extra videos for you guys tomorrow and Sunday as well. So stay tuned for that. Also, you guys have probably already seen it, but I have a shorts channel now. So if you want to check it out, DJ Goham Shorts. It's got a red circle around it instead of the blue one like this. 
All being said, I hope you guys have a great day. We will see you later. Peace. Oh yeah, we got the new iPhone 13 Pro order this morning. Should we do an unboxing next week on Go Ham Gear?